Punjab is on high alert after a rocket propelled grenade hit police intelligence wing headquarters in Mohali last evening. Initial probe shows the people behind the blast came in a white swift desire car. Cops have found a dump of nearly 7,000 mobile phones from three nearby mobile phone towers. Investigation is on to see if it was a terror attack. NIA team visited the attack site midnight to take stock and is all set to send another team today. Punjab Chief Minister has gotten into action mode, calling a high-level meeting to stake stock of the attack. The explosion was heard at 7.45 p.m. yesterday in which no casualty has been reported. Meanwhile, recently in another crackdown in Karnal on Thursday, four terrorists were arrested who were working at the behest of Pakistan-based Khalistani terrorist Harvinder Rinda. एक यार माइनर ब्लास्ट है और नुकसान अभी कोई नहीं हुआ वो धमाका था माइनर ब्लास्ट बाहर से था ब्लास्ट बाहर से नहीं तो क्या आरपीजी आरपीजी की तरफ गन टाइप से फायर किया गया और किसने फायर किया वो सारी तुर्की चल रही है नहीं किसने फायर किया इग्नोर नहीं किया जा सकता ऑन माय लेफ्ट साइड इज़ द वाइट structure this is the headquarters of the punjab intelligence bureau and if we move the camera towards a bus which can be seen parked uh, in front of this building and extreme left uh, is the place from where the rocket propelled grenade rpg was fired the distance uh, is nearly 100 meters from this building so the punjab's highly sensitive and highly protected building is also on the target of the anti-social elements though they have yet to be identified police has registered a fire against unidentified persons who are involved in this incident the investigations will reveal the faces behind this incident and the motive whether the khalistani outfits are behind this incident or it has been uh, caused by the gangsters and other anti-social elements what is the motive it will be clear after the investigations are over with camera person aman gupta this is manjit segal in mohali for india today politics has erupted over attack on punjab police intel office in mohali while condemning the attack opposition leaders took on the man government for the failure Punjab Congress drew parallels to militancy and slammed Man government saying that the history is repeating itself. Congress MP Manish Tiwari said it's unfortunate to see all of this starting again. Former Punjab Home Minister and Congress MLA Sukhjinder Singh Randhawa dubbed the explosion as a sign of deep communalism. Shiromani Akali Dal Chief Sukhbir Singh Badal said the attack exposed serious security lapses and highlighted once again the worsening law and order situation in Punjab. Punjab Chief Minister Man has, however, said strict action is going to be taken. Attackers won't be spared. Manjit Sahgal is getting us more details on that story. Manjit, at the end of the day, this is a huge security lapse that one really can't turn away from. And the Punjab government really can't throw their hands up in the air. What's really going on? In which direction is this investigation headed? Tell us a little more about that. Well, uh, absolutely right. Mm. As you said, uh, the, this is a big lapse on part of the Punjab police, uh, uh, which cannot even protect its own building. Uh, this is the, the, the white structure where the RPG was fired around uh, uh, 7.45 uh, yesterday. And uh, the initial investigations shows that the uh, people uh, involved in this uh, blast with us, Manjit, just going to go across straight to Congress MP Manish Tiwari. Uh, good morning, Manish Tiwari. Sneha, the side, thank you so much for your time. What do you make of what's really going on in the state of Punjab? Undoubtedly, it's a serious lapse on the part of the administration, on the part of the government there. Uh, well, uh, what happened yesterday is extremely unfortunate. And it happened in my parliamentary constituency. Mohali is a part of my parliamentary constituency. And incidentally, I was, I think, uh, 
maybe five minutes away from that site, you know, condoling the death of one of our senior Congress activists when this incident took place. Uh, it is not appropriate to finger point uh, because the security of Punjab actually involves the security of the nation. Punjab has been at the receiving end of the depredations of Pakistan's policy of leading India with a thousand cuts since 1975. We paid a very heavy price in blood between 1980 and 1995. Uh, unfortunately, Pakistan just does not let up. So therefore, uh, what we are seeing is probably a new phase in that proxy war because an RPG attack on the headquarters of the Punjab police's intelligence uh, is a kind of an open signal by the separatists and the terrorists that they would want to disturb the peace and uh, the communal harmony of Punjab. Therefore, under those circumstances, this is a time to rise above parties and politics. Both the central government and the state government must coordinate. They must bring all elements of national power to bear to ensure that this is prescribed immediately and these tendencies are stamped out with an iron hand. This is not the time to finger point. And may I also point out mm. that someone who was a witness to the events between 1980 and 1995, you know, I lost my father to a terror attack in the April of 1984, mm. that these things can slip uh, out of control very, very quickly if they are not handled uh, very efficiently and uh, swiftly. So therefore, uh, this should not be taken lightly just because fortunately there has been no loss of, li loss of life or any other major, uh, um, you know, loss of uh, property and stuff like that. Uh, this is a clear and a stark warning. We must see it for what it is. And as I said, that all elements of national park must be brought to bear in order to ensure that this is stamped out at the inception. You know, you mentioned 80s, and I want to ask you that does it look like this is predictable and attempts are being made essentially to replicate the 80s template in Punjab once again? Well, uh, you see, the price of liberty is eternal vigil. And the fight against terror and separatism is also one in which you have to exercise eternal vigil. Over the past three, four years, there have been these repeated uh, drone transgressions into Punjab from Pakistan, where armaments have been coming in, where narcotics have been coming in, where small weapons have been coming in. So therefore, that attempt is continuous. It is unrelenting. It is unremitting. And after the fall of Afghanistan in the August of 2021, the deep state in Pakistan is once again emboldened because they are no longer distracted with what was going on in Afghanistan with regard to reinstalling the Taliban through the peace process, and they're uh, aiding and abetting the Taliban in its advance and capture of Afghanistan. So therefore, there's a lot of surplus capacity which was earlier deployed in, Pakistan, in Afghanistan by the Pakistani deep state, which has now been freed up. And that is all being directed our way. You know, I had articulated these apprehensions earlier yes. also. I have very vividly written about it in my book on national security. Yes. So therefore, yeah. I think we are entering a new and dangerous phase. And uh, both the central government and the state government, you know, need to uh, seamlessly coordinate. A siloized approach will not work because uh, the, 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 the uh, wires of all this ultimately go back to the ISI and the deep state in Pakistan. Manish Tiwari, thanking you so much uh, for joining us with your point of view on that important story. What we know is that the chief minister has also called for a high-level meeting to take stock of the current situation. But like uh, Congress MP from Punjab, Manish Tiwari was pointing out, this can't be done without coordination between the centre and the state.